everyone so welcome to our new video in this video we are going to discuss about how we need to solve coding problems because most of people that are approaching me on linkedin top mid or various other sources uh, the majority of those people are able to learn about what is an array how to use an array how to traverse an array how to search an element in an array okay similarly they are able to understand what is string string manipulation collections in java or any other programming language it does not matter first thing is if we are trying to solve coding problems when we are appearing for sd interviews we need to understand the logic behind it okay and the core part is always building the logic instead of what language do you use to write the code okay so if you are using java if you are using python c sharp javascript python any programming language it does not matter because at the end of the day if you understand the logic behind it right you can now easily create different uh, programs using different languages okay but the core part is always building the logic so in this video i will try to keep it a little raw because i will not be giving you a step by step guide that you need to follow so in this video we will discuss about how i am approaching a coding problem and how do i solve it okay so as you can see on the screen right uh, i have op already logged in with lead code and this is the problem okay search insert position so if you read the problem name itself you will be able to create the solution okay now obviously we will read the program so given a sorted array of distinct integers and a target value return the index if the target is not found so this is the first part of the problem if not return the index where it would be if it were inserted in order okay this is the second part of the problem okay the third part of the problem is you must write an algorithm with big o of log n runtime complexity okay we will definitely address this as well but not in our first solution first solution will be solving the problem itself that is this one and then we will be creating a optimized solution to match the requirement that we see over here okay now first thing is try to read the examples carefully if you see the example number 1 input is nums 1356 and target is 5 so we need to find element number 5 inside this input array that is 1356 so we can find it on index number 2 so 0 1 2 and 3 so array starts from the index 0 so that is why 1 is on index 0 3 is on 1 5 is on 2 6 is on 4 okay or oh, sorry 3 so and target is 5 so we need to find target equal to 5 and output is 2 that is correct Example number two, we need to find element two inside one three five six. We don't have it, so we need to insert the index where it would be. So that is what the second part of the problem was, and that is why it is giving the output as one. That is correct. Example number three, input that is one three five six and target is seven. So we need to find element number seven. Output is four. So the array length is four, right? And number of elements added is is four, and the last index of the element is three. So three plus one that is four. That is why it is giving us the target as seven. So we will be understanding this like how did it give us the output as four in the once we start solving the problem. Okay. So let's start by writing the code. Uh, in lead code, I'll just give you a brief overview. We don't need to write any public static void main if you're using Java or any other programming language. Okay. So we just need to write the code for the respective function. and if we analyze the function right it is giving us the input as input array that is nums and it is also giving us the target element that i need to search okay and then it expects the output in integer format okay so that is how we need to create the function now let's start by writing a for loop okay first of all like i will be giving you the instructions like how i'm solving it so for loop i'm using and then i'm using int i that is that will help me to iterate the different indexes that are present in the input array that we are getting through search insert function okay and then i will start it with zero index because that is starting starting index of the array and then i will keep it as nums dot length okay i will keep it like i less than nums dot length okay so because array length is always length minus 1 okay and then i plus plus i will increment it in each iteration i will keep the braces and then i will use a if condition okay in which i will keep nums at index i i'll check if this is equal to target okay if this is equal to target then i will return the index 
okay the current index because nums i will basically give us the element okay so first of all like at index number zero it will point to element one you will check if one equal to equal to target that is false so it will not execute this condition then we will create another condition in which i will keep else if and nums i in which it will check if nums i is greater than target element okay if it is greater than target element that we are searching okay suppose like in this case if we search six okay although it will not go to this but still if we search so or if we go to example number two if we search for uh, target equal to two right so in this case three is greater than two right so it should be in between one and three so that is why it is giving us the output as one because two should be present in between one three okay and if you read the problem carefully given a sorted array okay so this array is in sorted way sorted condition okay so that is why we need to keep element that is two in between three one and three so one two three five six okay so that it is in sorted form okay now if we check else if nums that is the element is greater than the target element that we are searching for we will return the index okay so basically if three is greater than two okay that is true obviously so we will return that particular index that is one so that is why we will be able to solve this example as well okay now we will come out this condition then we will come out this for loop and then finally we will create another return statement in which we will keep nums dot length okay now why do i write this particular line because if you see example number three right that is num one three five six target is seven you see the total length is four of the array but the index that we expect that seven should be present on that is four okay because the total length of the array so if you analyze the input right that is one three five six six is smaller than seven so it will be obviously put on an index greater than the position on which six is present so six is present on index number three so seven should be put on index number four so if we use this particular statement it will give us the output as four and it will satisfy this example as well okay so now what i'll do i'll just quickly try to run this code and let's see so all the three cases are passed so this like we are able to solve these three examples now we will try to execute this code to all the test cases that lead code has so we need to submit our code over here and it is able to pass 66 by 66 test cases that is correct okay so now if we go back to the description right and if we read the problem again uh, we need to also solve the quotient with big o of log n time complexity okay so the solution that we created over here is based on linear search okay so obviously if we need to create a solution using big o of log n time complexity it will be using binary search so for current program the time complexity is big o of n okay why because it is using one for loop to iterate the array okay so if we use one for loop then it is big of n and if we use two for loops and greater then it will be big of n square or n cube okay why we need to reduce the count of number of loops that we are using inside the algorithm to get better time complexity okay i hope you understand the logic behind this now obviously if we want to improve the logic i will just remove this entire code and then i will start with implementing binary search over here okay so first thing is if we try to implement binary search we need to keep two pointers that it will start with so two pointers basically mean so if if i have an array i will just quickly explain one three one two three five sorry five and six okay so if i have two pointers first pointer will point at the first index of the element and second pointer will point at the last index of the element okay so that is how we need to create it and then we will find a middle element okay middle index of that array and we will compare that middle index of the array with the target element okay so if it is equal then we will return the index but if that middle index is smaller than the target element okay so we'll move towards left side of the array 
and if it is greater than the target okay so we will move towards right of the array the only condition for binary search is that it should be the array the input array that we're using it should be sorted okay if it is unsorted and obviously we need to use linear search but yes if the array is in sorted way then we can definitely use binary search to solve it okay that is how it works so i hope you understand the logic behind this now i will just quickly go and write the code for it okay so obviously as i mentioned we need to use two variables that is uh, that will point on the first index so you can say left okay and that will point on the last index that we can say right okay so we'll be using two variables over here so left will be equal to zero because it points to the first element and then we will be using right because it will be pointing to the last index that is length nums dot length minus one okay so that is what you can do and then i will use a while loop to solve the problem until left is smaller than equal to right i hope you understand this okay we will be using this loop okay so first thing first we need to find the middle because i told you to use mid element to check with the target okay so we'll use int mid equal to left plus right minus left okay and then divided by two why did i write this right minus left because obviously if the array is sorted then the rightmost element will be the greatest and leftmost element will be the smallest okay so and then obviously we can write minus left we can write this and i am using this left plus because it stops overflow of array elements okay if you do not understand this concept then please search for it because if i keep on mentioning all the concepts then it, the video length will be very long okay and divided by two so we need to find the middle element so that is why we are dividing it by two okay so i hope you understand this logic and then we will be using a if condition to uh, if then we will be using this mid element that we found currently and we will match it with the target okay if it is equal to target then obviously we will return the mid element or you can say mid index more specifically okay because here we compare the element with the target element and then if that is equal then we will be returning the index because that is what it accepts okay then we will be using another condition that is else if in which we will check if nums so if you read the code right that i have written uh, the logic or the conditions will remain quite same but it is more time efficient okay it's because we are using while loop and we are using two pointers carefully okay so if it is greater right if it is greater than the target i already told you if it is greater then we need to go and make it point to the mid element okay so basically what we are doing is we are making the right most pointer okay so if you read the logic of this program right that is end mid equal to left plus right minus left divided by two and these are parentheses so these will be executed first okay so right minus left so if you use this example that is one three five six so nums length minus one so obviously right will be three over here if you start with the first index and left will be zero over here so three minus zero is zero and then left plus that is left plus three okay so over here if we get out of the parenthesis that is three so zero plus three is still three and three divided by two is one okay because we are using integer so it will accept whole numbers only it will not accept float floating point numbers so this will give us one and if you read over here carefully so obviously uh, the nums mid that is it will be pointing to the first index that is three okay three element okay zero one so this is three so three equal to targets so over here you are finding five so now it's not equal to that then we will check else if so nums mid is greater than target no it is not it is not greater so this condition will also fail okay now we will move to the next condition that is else if and we will check else if in that we will check nums obviously we have checked if nums mid is greater than target we will check now nums mid is smaller than target okay and if it is smaller than target then we will increment left now okay so left will be equal to mid plus one okay and now if you read this and then we will come out this while loop and then finally we will be returning return left okay so over here if you see then we were able to execute this second statement okay so this will also fail in our first iteration of the uh, while loop 
and in this if if you see nums bid is less than target of obviously nums bid in this case like 3 is less than 5 in the first iteration right so now it will go and increment left so left will be basically pointing to now second index okay because 0 1 2 and 3 current index of the bid is 1 and then 1 plus 1 is 2 over here okay so now left will be pointing to second index and now okay now if we try to run this code we'll check how it is working okay so i forgot to add a terminator in this now i will try to run this okay so it is working fine so let's just quickly go and check any of the cases so in this we were giving input 1356 target was 2 output that we get is 1 and expected is also 1 that is correct now we will try to submit this problem okay now we submit this problem you can see b 65.45 so obviously the time complexity is big of log n now okay so that is why it is able to mo beat more than 50% of solutions and if you see this and you can also see the memory run time complexity everything is there okay and if you scroll down we can also get to see the solution if you want okay so that is how it is working and obviously if you are using binary search it will give us a time complexity a big o of a log n okay that is what is expected so i hope that you are able to understand the logics okay so first thing first always try to understand the algorithms okay because like linear search binary search or the sorting algorithms like quick sort merge sort okay so these type of algorithm you should already know while you are approaching towards solving lead code coding problems or hacker and coding problems okay because those algorithms will help us here to solve complex uh, coding problems in less time okay so obviously it will improve the time complexity so that is how we need to approach i hope this video was useful and if you like more such videos then obviously consider subscribing and sharing this video with your network friends colleagues anyone okay so if you want more such videos related to coding interviews or interview questions and all then definitely comment down this video i will be creating more such videos definitely so let's meet in the next one bye bye take care